welcome back to Creative Manifestation. Thank you guys for your subscriptions and um, for sharing your stories about your gray updates. Um, it's really cool to hear everyone's um, transition stories. And I wanted to share my new do. <laughs> um, so I did a little work on my hair. As you can see, it looks different. Um, what I did was colored the bottom dark to match my roots. Um, my first video, I had a lot of different colors in my hair. I used to, as I said in the first video, if you haven't watched it, I used to have dark hair. Um, my hair is naturally dark. As you can see, this is my natural color right here. Um, with the gray coming in. It's mixed through salt and pepper. So I had gone blonde to kind of get used to seeing the light around my face, which I liked a lot, but then I was like ready to make, you know, the shift into growing the hair out. So I figured <clears throat> I should probably, um, just stop coloring it. <laughs> but it was so many different colors that I decided to color the dot the bottom dark to match the top. So I will have an easier grow out. And I had highlights in my hair previously and I left those and threw a few low lights like in the bottom part, not, not in the top, but just like in here to break them up a little and did a toner with like a gray toner and I just feel like this is going to be an easier grow out for me at this point and I'm probably not going to do anything else to my hair at this point um, because I think this will grow out better and I'll be taller it'll be tolerable for me now <laughs> and this is the thing like everyone's on their own journey of doing this and we all have to kind of do it to where we feel comfortable you know some people are going cold turkey and I just for me because I am a stylist and I you know know what I like my hair to be like and I know I could make it better, so I just did it myself to kind of like facilitate this grow out to look a little bit better for myself. And I probably won't be doing much else now. I'm going to probably have to tone this though from time to time to keep the brassiness kind of at bay because it's really hard to get rid of this brassy and the highlights but I don't want to get rid of them I like having the light around my face and I feel like it's going to help me you know with the grow out I want to grow the length back because I do like my hair long and I just chopped it to give it a little bit more of a um a easier time with the grow out I thought it would help facilitate it a little bit like by the time it gets down to here, this will be down to here. <laughs> and so that's where I am right now. Um, it, it's a process, guys. It's a process. Um, you know, it's a lot of like ups and downs. And I am working on loving it myself and really like stepping into this. And it's... Um, it's interesting because like some days you're like, ooh, I can do this. And then other days you're like, hmm, do I like this? And <laughs> I'm just really hoping that I love it and my hair is really healthy and looks great when I'm done because everyone I see, I love how their hair looks. And it's going to look different for everyone, obviously. And I think mine is definitely going to be that kind of like light in the front, dark in the back situation which I don't mind um so yeah here's my progress and uh you can see like the it's not a lot of gray in here but it matches better on the bottom and I just think it's a, gonna be a better grow out situation 
that's my uh, update for now and I will see you in the next video.